Hi guys! Are you ready for this video? Because I don't think you're ready for this video. I have been so excited to film this. I am recreating makeup looks from my favorite music videos when I was younger and coincidentally a lot of them all had this same exact look on so this is what I'm creating for you guys today so I hope you all enjoy the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up but again I just hope you all enjoy it I poured my heart into this and so I'm just so excited music is such a big part of my life as well as makeup I would love to make this a series if you guys have any suggestions leave them down below but without further ado let's get into the video I've had this idea for quite a while but I wanted to do research just to make sure everything was good to go so I kind of just went down the rabbit hole especially during quarantine I feel like a lot of people did like every time I was watching an old bit old uh, <laughs> I think like ran out of breath every time I was watching like an old music video from the 2000s or something people were like who's here from like 2020 I mean it's 2021 now but I absolutely love watching old music videos it's just kind of fun to go down the rabbit hole so if you guys haven't done that yet definitely do it throughout this video I'm just gonna be doing my makeup I'm not really gonna be talking about products I'm just going to be talking about the music videos and the songs so I hope you all enjoy this and let's get into it so pretty much in every single one of these videos they are rocking a shimmery dark smoky eye and then glowing skin and a nude lip so that's what we're going to be doing today i would also love to do more of the crazy looks that people did in like those older music videos but just for today to keep it easy on myself we're just talking about a few with the same makeup look so growing up i grew up in a pretty religious family my family was lds so a lot of these songs I wasn't like allowed to watch the music videos too. So watching them now, I kind of felt a little rebellious. I was like, ooh, I get to watch this stuff. So it was pretty fun just to kind of see all of that and just kind of like go through memory lane. So the first one we're talking about is uh, the Pussycat Dolls Buttons music video, which first of all, they look amazing. I love Nicole Scherzinger. I absolutely loved that song, which I had no business singing that. I think I was in kindergarten when it came out and you know, I don't know what it meant. I loved it. And I just thought they were the coolest girl band ever. Like would you even, I guess a girl group would be more what you would call them. But I thought they were just the coolest girl group ever because they were like real life brat stalls. I absolutely loved them. I loved Doncha. I loved, um, buttons obviously in this music video they have like this super kind of like greeny yellow filter on them so it's like i don't know i feel like everyone was just like so like bronzed up nicole scherzinger has like a hood on like i said she looks amazing um i definitely see why i wasn't allowed to watch it when i was younger in the music video they have like i'm gonna just put up pictures because i don't want to get copyrighted by putting the music video on here i know i wish i could i'm a new youtuber I don't want a copyright strike so yeah um but anyways they walk out they're in like they're kind of like burlesque dancers and you know what we loved it like i feel like the pussycat dolls you know they would walk out like half dressed and like just no one had a problem with it they were like yeah go you like that's great i feel like other girl groups just never got the hype of them at least like in my eyes i feel like fifth harmony you know they had their you don't gotta go to work that one whatever it's called i think it's just called work or oh no work from home that's what it's called they probably love 2020 because i'm sure they did a lot of working from home i just put on some eye primer and concealer just because i feel like that's not very interesting to watch you know i'm also getting my wisdom teeth out this um thursday i am 22 almost 23 so it's taken me a long time to do this for whatever reason the next music video we're talking about is Britney Spears' Toxic, which is yet another song that I had no business listening to as young as I was. <laughs> it's a great video, I love it. So she is in this really cool, like almost like futuristic blue flight attendant outfit. And I mean, it's Britney Spears, she looks amazing. You know, obviously the smoky eye and nude lip. She also rocks like this really cool red wig with like this leather outfit. I was like thinking about how old I was with like some of these videos. I was like five years old <laughs> at that time. Anyways, in the scenes with her red wig and the leather outfit, I feel like just the whole video kind of has like this 
awful like yellow <laughs> Instagram filter over it, which like I guess I don't mind very much. Like it's very fitting for the times. It was like when everyone first had Instagram and so they were using like the lo-fi filter or like I think there was one called Nashville. Like you know what I mean? Like those filters. That was what they all were using in their music videos and I think it's just funny because I feel like people are so much more into like tech and things like that now. Like especially with filters and editing and all of that. So seeing those now you're like, did they just use an Instagram filter for that? So another video where someone's rocking a look like this is Selena Gomez's A Year Without Rain, which let me just say like she looks amazing in. I remember watching it when I was younger, really all of these videos and I was like, they're literally glowing and they just look so beautiful where she's just in the desert and like she's in this gorgeous dress and I think there's like pictures flying everywhere or something like that. That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right. But I loved that video. I was still watching Disney Channel at that time, so that was a real treat. The next one is Rihanna, and I couldn't pick a video because she is rocking the smoky eye with a nude lip in each one of these. So she's rocking it in Umbrella, Love the Way You Lie, Only Girl in the World, and I think even Shut Up and Drive. Yeah, even Shut Up and Drive as well, which I mean, all of those songs were so good. I loved Shut Up and Drive when I was little, even though it was like repetitive, but I feel like it was a great song then. And then Only Girl in the World. First of all, that whole album, Loud, is just incredible. I loved it. I got it for Christmas, like the CD album, when I was 13 and I, loved like every song on that album. It had California King Bed, it had the one with Drake, not work obviously. Say Oh, say my name. Oh no no. Oh no, it's what's my name. Okay. But really all the songs on that album were incredible and she had her bright red hair, which I mean I had bright red hair, so like of course I love bright red hair. It's just amazing. I just really wish that, you know she would make music again. I know she's just rocking it with her makeup and with her Savage Fenty line, like go her, but I mean, I just want her to make music again. So this next one, I loved this song. It came out when I was in like junior high. I still love it to this day, like I listen to it and I'm just like in a good mood. You know those songs where it's like, no matter how old it is, it can come on and you're just, you just like want to dance like you it's just you still love it like no matter what that is the song for me so it's good girls go bad by cobra starship with leighton meester aka blair waldorf i am proud you guys need to watch it if you haven't because i feel like most of the comments in that section are like i didn't know blair waldorf was in this like she was the one who was singing the whole time but i have to like focus hold on but yeah, it has Leighton Easter in it, which she just looks amazing. She has messy bedhead curly hair, which I tried to do, but like, I feel like my hair is just too long right now to hold a curl. So anyways, back to the music video. She has the smoky eye. She's wearing like this sparkly like tunic, I think it was, or it might've been a dress. I feel like back then it was really into wear skirts with jeans and dresses with jeans, even though it like doesn't really make sense. I definitely rocked that in like fifth grade, I didn't care. She's like wearing it with bright orange platform heels. Like she just looks really cute. I'm, I'm here for it, you know? In this music video, they're in a butcher shop and there's like a club underneath it. So people enter through the butcher shop, they like hand them cash and then that's how they get in. And Layton also has this like the sidekick. I feel like it's just funny to see the phones in these videos to show like that was like a, um almost like, like a social symbol, I guess, to be like, yeah, I have like this flip phone. What do you have? Like I remember when Adele's Hello came out and like it was the time of touch screens, but like she had a flip phone in it and everyone was like, what the heck? Why does she have a flip phone? Yeah, so she has a sidekick. The guys are all wearing like those big nerd glasses with the white lenses, which at my school in junior high, everyone wore those, except they would just get the 3D glasses from the movie theater and punch the lenses out. They had to make this rule at school that kids couldn't wear them in their yearbook photos. I just thought it was kind of funny. And then in the end, Leighton Meester like turns out to be like undercover and ends up shutting the whole place down, even though she was partying with them in the music video. I love that video and just the song. Also, how do you guys feel about like 2000s trends 
coming back because I feel like at least I think the majority of my channel was like alive in the 2000s so like to see trends coming back that like we probably wore when we were kids like how do you guys feel I feel like it's kind of trippy I kind of feel old like I feel like that's probably how like most of our parents feel when like their trends come back they're like what in the world really like you know like mom jeans and like the 90s I guess the 90s are really in right now too but I feel like now it's becoming more the 2000s so I wonder what's gonna to come back like if it's gonna be like mean girl style fashion like where it was like you know the juicy couture like sweatsuits or they would wear like a jacket like that with a mini skirt also skirts were so short back then and like just the low rise I feel like looking at it now is so unflattering I hope that doesn't come back because I I've really grown to like high-waisted jeans and I don't want that trend to go out because then I'm gonna have to start working out you know okay so I'm going to I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm gonna do like mascara and lashes and then I'll be back to talk about the rest of the music videos. Okay, so I just did some Kiss 11 lashes and I think the thing that's funny is like watching these videos, people didn't do lashes like these because I was gonna do some that were like a little more full. They did more of like Ardell Wispies, <laughs> like it's kind of what it looks like. They, they weren't really like, the high-end lashes that like people do today. So the next one is Untouched by the Veronicas. I hope you guys know this one. Um, you know those songs where you're like, do I just know this one? Or like, do a lot of people know it? That's kind of how I feel about this one. It was kind of like a one-hit wonder for them. Like, I know they have other songs, but like this was the only one that like really blew up. So it's called Untouched. And um, I feel like I was about, 11 when this came out so and I'm 22 now so that's like 11 years ago that's that's really weird <laughs> there's like this desaturated filter over it like it's almost black and white but not quite black and white if you know what I mean they're twins I think they're twins or they're just sisters I don't know I'll have to look it up for you guys like they're wearing like short sleeve shirts and then like I think leather gloves are like decorative black gloves which I feel like that was a big thing <laughs> Too. Like I remember Demi Lovato in her Here We Go Again. She had like red leather gloves, but they only came to like, I have all this stuff in my hand, sorry. But they only came to here. And I remember it bugging me so bad because it just looked like she hadn't put her glove on all the way. And I was like, why is she wearing it like that? I like hated it for some reason. I feel like their hands wouldn't have been cold, but it was just, it was just a trend then to do that. But yeah, it was like the smoky eye makeup. And I feel like back then everyone had like the big necklaces that were long. Like I feel like Selena Gomez was always wearing them. I always would try to like mimic her style when I was younger because you know she was on Wizards of Waverly Place obviously and I just feel like Disney styles are so they're just so funny to look at now because you're just kind of like what did you piece together like Ashley Tisdale they always have the memes of but like Selena Gomez would wear leggings with shorts so like I would wear leggings with shorts just to kind of like look like her except I would wear like scrunched leggings with plaid shorts and just call it a look and it was like what were you doing? Like that was not a look, like that was not cute. She always wore that though and she would wear it with like Ugg boots and like a beanie and like the half sleeves or something or like you know the ones they were like the gloves but they just looped around the thumb and they came to here. I loved those. I remember getting some from Justice because Justice was like what every girl wore and I just thought it was so cool. So for this last one, I feel like this one was just so iconic for its time, you know, really all of these were. I feel like I tried my best to pick some good ones, but of course, if you guys have any that you loved and feel like I missed, definitely comment them down below. But this next one is Glamorous by Fergie. And I remember being in like, I think I was in third grade and I was like, I'll be so happy if this comes on a spelling test because I'll know how to spell glamorous <laughs> because of the G -M -A. I feel like I look so 2000s right now. By the way, I'm not doing this makeup look to try and like fit the times now. I'm literally just trying to make it look like I'm in the 2000s. So I hope it's working. But anyways, this glamorous music video is just stunning. And I remember I did watch this one. So I was allowed to watch this one. They're at this pool party. It's all in black and white, except like only a few things are in color. So like her blonde hair is in color. And then I think the pool 
is in color. Yeah, she has like glowing skin. She's at that pool party in one, then in the next, you know, when she's like, she's talking about like how she would still go to drive throughs and stuff. Does she say that? I feel like she talks about being in a drive through. Oh, it's Taco Bell. Wait. Pass the road to Taco Bell drive through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like in a drive through in her limo, and then it like, you know, does like a little throwback when she was with her friends driving her cute little Mustang convertible. That's then she's on a private jet. But there's also a scene where she is in a movie. This is so orange. Oh my goodness, hold on. We have to fix this before I say another word. The next scene, she is like outside and there's like these beautiful views of mountain and she has like this Marilyn Monroe kind of look going on. There's someone there, they have guns, like I think the cops show up and they're all ready to shoot them. And then that's when like the rap part comes in. And then it turns out she was just on a movie set because she walks out and then, you know, she's getting her makeup touched up as she's like, you know, singing the song. But um, I absolutely love that video. That's a one video that I feel like suits the song so well because i feel like there are so many videos where the song will be like amazing and then you'll kind of like picture what the music video will be like in your head and then you watch the music video and then it's awful and it kind of ruins the song but with this one i feel like it's not like that like i feel like it was very just feel like it suited it very well so yeah i absolutely love that video also with this nude lip it's so nude and it just reminded me of in junior high girls literally would just use their foundation as nude lipstick and call it nude lipstick it's like just thinking of that now like anytime i have foundation on my lips i feel like i look like a zombie so just that people like purposefully put it on and just called it a nude lip you're like why why would you do that i hope you guys liked this video because i loved it i loved filming it i loved researching it i would love to do i would love to make this into a series i was obsessed with katy perry for example i would love to do some makeup looks from her videos. So if you guys have any suggestions at all, please comment them down below. Or if you even have suggestions of music videos to watch, comment them. But um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like these and give this video a thumbs up as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.